हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक क्लास इलेवन टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अवर माय स्क्यूएल प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो फर्स्ट आई वांट टू शो हाउ टू स्टार्ट माय स्क्यूएल एप्लीकेशन प्रैक्टिकली सो हियर आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन स्टार्ट बटन हियर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ऑल प्रोग्राम्स एंड हियर यू कैन सी माय एसक्यूएल ओके एंड इन माय एसक्यूएल यू कैन सी माय एसक्यूएल सर्वर हियर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग माय एसक्यूएल 5.5 कमांड लाइन क्लाइंट ओके सो आई वांट टू सेलेक्ट दिस प्रोग्राम नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज आवर कंसोल कंसोल मींस व्हेन कीबोर्ड एंड मॉनिटर हार्डवेयर डिवाइस वी वी कैन यूज डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली वी इंटरेक्ट विथ कीबोर्ड और मोनिटर so we can say consoling consoling means when keyboard and uh, our output device directly deal uh, uh, will so we can use console so this is our console input output okay so we can directly use our keyboard to give uh, computer to commands okay so this is your mysql client program so enter password so the password of this mysql is we can use here 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 when i was installed this program so i have decided root password so here i am using r double o t okay so here password is root okay r double o t root okay so this is our command prompt okay this is our command prompt so this is our command prompt okay so here we can mention our mysql commands okay students so here i am giving one by one commands so you can see okay so first i am using show okay data bases and finally here i am using semicolon then press enter okay so what is the output of this command in mysql server in mysql server Uh, show databases uh, and semicolon then you press enter so it will give the information of all the available database on my sql server so it will display information underscore schema my sql performance underscore schema raj and test so these are our available database you can see with the help of this command show databases semicolon enter and output you can see so you can see the all the database which are available on your mysql server okay now i want to create my own personal database so here i am using create database here here i am giving database name suppose school then here i am using semicolon create database school semicolon then here i am pressing enter to execute this command so it will display query okay one row affected okay so here in this above output there is no database of school but recently i have created create database school so i want to see i want to see in the list so here again i am typing show data bases semicolon then press enter so this time you can see here you can see in school database you can see okay okay i want to create tables in school database so first i want to select i want to open school database so it is compulsory so here i am using use okay here i am use and here i am using school and then semicolon and then press enter okay so here you can see uh, here you can see the output use school here you can see database change okay so recently which database opened school database open so here this command is important now in this school database i want to show all the tables so show tables and semicolon enter so you can see in the school database there is no table this is empty set okay so in school database there is no table okay this is empty set so i want to create a table so here i am using create this time this time i am using table this 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 time i am using table here in school database i want to create student table so here i am writing student then press here i am using small bracket then press okay so first here i am using 
row number in row number we will i want to store integer values i want to store integer values and here row number uh, so I, I am using primary key constraint okay so here i am using primary key okay so the row number will primary key and here i am using comma because after row number i want to use uh, another column name so here i am using name in name here i am using where character 25 okay so here we, uh, i want to store alphabets so here i am using where character 25 so a single student will hold maximum 25 letters okay and here name must be input here name must be input it cannot be left blank so here i am using not null constraint and here i am using comma then press enter then here i am using ct here i am using where character and again here i am using 20 suppose a 20 and here i am using again not null constraint and comma and enter here i am using fees okay here fees here, here i am using decimal 7 comma 2 here i am using again not null constraint okay after fees column there is no column so here i want to close this command and press semicolon okay so you can see in the school database i will create a table student the first column is our roll number in roll number we I want to store only numerical values. So here I am using integer data type and roll number column uh, will a primary key. Okay, and comma. The next column is name. In name, we will store, I want to store uh, only alphabets. So here I am using where character in bracket. We can use 25 maximum length and not null means we must input name values. Comma. Next column is this is our CT. Here we again input alphabets and other characters. So here I am using where character 20. And not null means uh, city data must be input and comma and fees. So here I want to use decimal point. Okay. So after decimal point, we I want to store two digits. Or before decimal point, I want to store five digit. Okay. So you uh, before decimal point, I want to store four digit. Okay, students. So here I am using not null and this command will complete. So here I am using closing uh, parenthesis and semicolon. So this command is multi-line command. Then this command will complete, and here I am pressing enter. Okay. So here it will display query. Okay. So this database is created. Okay. Now here I am using show tables and semicolon enters. So this time in school database, here it it is displayed tables in school database. It will it will display student. So you can see this our student table already created. Okay, here I want to see the structure of students. Here I am using describe student semicolon enter. Okay, so describe student semicolon enter. It will give the complete structural detail. You can see roll number, name, city, face. Okay, already. And you can see type integer 11 means in roll number 11 maximum digit we can store. Where character 25 which you already specified, city 20 which you already specified, fees decimal 7 comma 2 you already specified. Okay, students. Now next thing is here we already specified this is our primary key column. Okay, so we can store roll number of, of each and every student one time. We cannot store same roll number to other students. Okay, so primary key rule. Here you can see name, so you can see uh, not null city not null and fees not null means we must input name we must input city we must input fees see we already specified not null constant so only two type of constant we used primary key constraint and not null constants and this command is important describe student semicolon enter so it will display the technical detail of uh, complete table okay students now i want to see the uh, records of this tab table so here i am using select star from table name you can see student semicolon enter but he be, but in this table there is no records there is no records so it will display empty set okay so first i want to store data okay so here i am using insert command insert into table name you can see student okay so here column name you can see 
एक्जेक्टली रोल नंबर कोमा नेम कोमा सिटी कोमा फीस एंड हियर वी कैन यूज वैल्यूज वी कैन यूज वैल्यूज सो फर्स्ट दिस इज अवर रोल नंबर सो हियर एम यूजिंग वन जीरो वन कोमा नेम हियर एम यूजिंग इन सिंगल कोर्स राज सिटी हियर एम यूजिंग सपोज अजमेर ओके एंड हियर आई वॉन्ट टू इनपुट फीस सो हियर आई वॉन्ट टू इनपुट फीस सो यू कैन सी ओके अजमेर सेमी कोलन एंड हियर आई वॉन्ट टू इनपुट फीस सो हियर इनपुटिंग फीस सपोज एंड फाइव जीरो एंड वी कैन क्लोज एंड सेमी कोलन एंटर ओके सो यू कैन सी ओके सो यू कैन सी इंसर्ट इन टू स्टूडेंट ओके टेबल नेम इज स्टूडेंट कोलम नेम यू कैन क्लियरली मैंशन रोल नंबर Comma name, comma city and face in bracket. All the column name titles. Then we can use values and in small bracket respectively we can input roll number. Okay, one zero one. Then comma. Okay, comma. This is name is bare character. So we can use single quotes or double quotes. We can use Raj comma city. We can use in in uh, the single quotes Ajmer comma. Fees here we because here we mentioned seven comma two so you can count total seven thing one two three four five six seven including dot total seven things but comma two means after decimal point two things two digits so we can use seven four double zero point five zero okay now here I am using again select star from student semicolon enter now this time it will display the one record okay majinon raj ajmer and this data you can see suppose i want to insert insert one more record so here i am using insert into student and here again i mention roll number name city fees here i am using values and here i am using 102 comma here i'm using next name names next name mohan here i'm using kota and here i'm using another fees okay and semicolon enter so he, this is our second record and i want to display all the records so here i'm using select star from here i'm using table name student enter so this time you can see we have two two records okay 101 raj ajmer 7400.50 rupees and next record you will see 102 mohan kota 8500.30 rupees okay this data you can see okay students so select star from student it will display the complete uh, records of our table okay students now suppose we want to display only roll number so here i am using select here using roll number from student Enter. So you can see only this command will show roll number. Suppose you want to see only name. So here I am using select name from student. So this time you can see only name you will see all the because here I am mentioning select name. Suppose you want to see see the city. So select city from student. Enter. So this time. Select city will display only city. Suppose I want to see only fees. So here I am using select fees from student enter. So this time it will display only the fees. Suppose I want to see all the columns with all rows. So here I am using select star from student. Okay. Or either you can use select row number comma name comma city comma fees. Okay, from student. Okay, so either you can use select star or directly you can mention each and every column. Select row number, comma name, comma city, comma fees from students. Okay, you can change the order for viewing purpose. Suppose name, comma row number. So you can see more than one column, or you can also change the order of this column. So select name, comma row number from student. So you can see this time you can see a row number and name. Okay, so this data you can see. Suppose you want to see only name, comma fees 
from student table so this time it will display only name and fees okay students so today i am discussing how to create how to open mysql how to show databases how to create database how to open database how to create table in the database how to show the structure detail how to uh, insert records how to see records one by one and all records and we can change the order of records okay students thank you so much